Hello everybody, and welcome back to my uh, next Java tutorial. And what I'm going to talk about today is loops, or specifically the while loop. The while, not wild, the while. It's not going to eat you, it's not crazy, it's not wild, it's a while. Anyways, so the while loop um, is a pretty cool loop, quite simple to understand. I'm going to go ahead and create a project called while prac for practice. Click finish. And then I'm going to create a new class. <clears throat> we'll call it while prac for emphasis. Okay, finish. Okay, so, you know, we know a lot of stuff right now. If you watch all my previous tutorials, you'll know what a string is. You know what an int is, a bool is. You know what an if statement is, you know what a boolean expression is. So all that comes into play when we're talking about a while loop. So, let's say I have a string, let's say I have an int, x, and I have it equal to whatever the user wants to enter. So let's say system, let's, let's make a scanner, scanner i's equals new scanner, system.in, and I say, I, I mean, x equals i's dot next int. So we're reading an int from the user. So let's import this jump. Okay, so now, when I read in um, my, uh, the number, let's first ask the user to enter a number. Enter in a number. It is a command. So they enter in a number. And they enter in that number. And I say... If that number is greater than 3, then I'm going to print Wahoo! Greater than 3. Okay, so it's Wahoo, right? So, check this out. <clears throat> In a regular if statement, this basically says if x is greater than 3, which is a Boolean expression, it's either true or false. So if this is true, it's going to print Wahoo! If it's not true, then it's not going to print Wahoo! Alright? So, just keep that concept in mind that this is just a regular if statement. <clears throat> so, just to show you, let's run this program. Run as Java app. It says enter in a number. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll enter in, you know, 34, and it prints Wahoo because 34 is greater than three. If I run it again and I enter in like two, or if I enter in three, three is not greater than three. It's not going to print anything. Okay. All right. While loop is basically a repeated if statement. So a while loop is a repeating if statement. All I gotta do is replace the if here with a while. And all this does is it repeats the body of the previous if statement. Now a while loop, it repeats this body right here over and over and over and over and over and over and over so long as as long as this condition is true. Okay? So in this case, if I enter in a number and it turns out to be not greater than three. I mean, it turns out to be greater than three. It's going to keep printing wahoo, 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 infinite number of times. So let's show you that right now. So it goes, enter in a number. And I say, okay, five. It's going to print wahoo forever. As you can see, let me pull this up so you can see what's going on. It's infinite. It's just going to keep going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever until I force it to quit. Why? Because x is three. Uh, x, I, what I enter in? Five. 5 is this 5 is greater than 3 true print wahoo and then it goes back to the condition so a while loop here's how a while loop, while loop works it jumps into the while loop it goes hey is x greater is this condition true if it is it executes the body after it executes the body it doesn't go on like a regular if statement it goes back to the condition and says hey is the condition still true if it is it does the body again and it goes hey is the condition true if it is, it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going, going until the condition becomes false. If the condition is never false, like here, x5 is always greater than 3, it's going to print wahoo 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 forever, 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 never, never, never until I force it to quit. Okay? So, this using this system, we can print something a certain number of times. For example, let's say I want to print <clears throat> hello three times, right? So I can, instead of asking the user to enter in a number, Let's, let's make it simpler. If I say int x equals 3, and I say while x, no, let's say int x is equal to, let's say 0. 
while x is less than 3, we're going to print hello. Now, just like an if statement, if I don't have curly braces, it only treats the first line after the while uh, statement as part of the, um, the, the body. So if I'm going to have more than one line, I'm going to need curly braces around the while loop. And I want more than one line. So if I do the following, x++ plus plus, uh, basically means it's going to increment x by 1. Uh, so x++ plus plus means whatever x is, make it one more. So this says while x is less than 3, print hello and then increment x. So it becomes 1. And it goes around and it says, oh, is x less than 3? And if it is, it'll print hello again and so on over and over and over. So when I run this count, it prints hello, hello, hello three times. Why? Because it goes in at 0. Is 0 less than 3? Yes. Print hello. x becomes 1. Is 1 less than 3? Yes. It prints hello again. x becomes 2 after this plus plus. It goes around. Is 2 less than 3? Yes. It prints hello a third time. x becomes 3. Is is 3 less than 3? No, it's not. It fails. Once this fails, once this condition fails, it jumps out of the while loop and goes on with its life. Okay? Let me give you another example. Instead of printing hello, let us print x. So when I do that, and I run it, it's going to print 0, 1, 2. Right? It's actually counting. So, aha! Now that we can count, we can do a whole lot of cool things. So, let's do like a countdown line launch off for like, I don't know, rocket or something. Let's make X10. You know what? Let's call it countdown. Yeah. Countdown. And I'm going to say while countdown <coughs> is, because we usually count down to zero, while countdown is greater than, um, greater than or equal to zero, we're going to print the number and then, um, right, we're going to print the number. And then we're going to decrement, instead of increment, we're going to decrement countdown. Oops. So, oh, we have to print countdown. I forgot to change it. Countdown. So if I go ahead and, uh, if I go ahead and run this, well, you know what, after this I'm going to say, so, so, launch. Right, so, when I run this guy, it's going to go, 10, 9, 8. Oh, you know what? Let's pick, print LN so it goes on the next line so it looks cooler. Because, you know, we want it to look cool. So we run it, and it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then when that, when it hits 1, right? When countdown was 1, it decrements it down to 0. Is 0. Why did I put it? Negative. Um, once it hits 0, then it. Then it then it uh, it jumps outside of the while loop. Now, if I want to make it less uh, greater than or equal to zero to include the zero, then I'm gonna put greater than or equal to zero. So when I run it, it goes ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero, and then as soon as it becomes negative one, it jumps out of the while loop and goes to launch and prints launch. Okay. So now, just a quick example of how we can use like a password protection program that'll keep on asking. So let's say I have a string, um, string called x. Okay, and we ask the user to enter in, enter in password. And then we read in x, we see i dot next. Here's a quick example. I'm gonna say while the password is incorrect, we're gonna keep asking them to enter in a new password. So while, um, while x dot equals, let's say my password is apple, does not, is, is equal to false, meaning if they enter in apple, if they enter in the password and it's not apple, we're going to say, we're going to print again, you know, enter in password. And then we're going to read in the new password. And as soon as that's out of this loop, we know right away that they say password accepted. We know that they entered in the correct password. So as long as x dot equals apples equals equals false, then we know that the... Um, the password is incorrect. So let's go ahead and run it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Enter in password. Let's say I enter in banana. B A N A N A S. Bananas. It goes, oh, it's not. It says, oh, it's not apple, so it's going to ask me again. And I enter in orange. 
It's not Apple, so ask me again. And it's going to keep on en- asking me, ask me over and over and over until I enter an Apple. Once I enter an Apple, it fails this if statement because it goes, oh, X is equal to Apple. That's true. So that means this whole statement's false. It jumps out, prints password accepted. Okay, that's while loops. My next uh, screencast will be about four loops, which is way cool. Goodbye.